I'm just going to ask some questions and these are going to be the most common arguments that we get from non-vegans as an excuse and then you can help me with the responses so you can share your responses in the comment section and then we'll move on to the next point next argument so the good thing is we do have some non-vegans on our instagram that are going to help with these arguments so first there's scientific evidence that we are omnivores how do you respond to that let's be quick when someone says there's scientific evidence that we are omnivores let's not argue that let's just go with that for a second right let's just say that that has been scientifically proven and we can acknowledge that being an omnivore means that you can survive on both plants and animal products so if you can survive on plants and that means that you're not paying for innocent beings to be tortured raped and murdered then why are you choosing to go down the route that involves cruelty exploitation and murder i wouldn't get into the oh no our guts are this way and our teeth and our this and that that's actually in my opinion is a stronger point because we always like to stick to the ethics and explain to someone why they should be vegan rather than getting into the science and the nutrition and the health argument so if someone says there is scientific evidence that we are omnivores then you should say okay then why are you choosing to be cruel and why are you choosing to support rape and murder when you can be healthy and just stick to plants and also again omnivore means you can survive on both sources so you can survive on animal sources and you can survive on plant sources of food so even if you do have the ability to process the animal-based food does that mean you should do it if you've got hands does that mean that you're going to punch someone does that mean you're going to choke someone if you have a penis does that mean that you're going to rape someone just because you have it if you have legs does that mean that you're going to kick someone just because you have the ability to do that we have the ability to do many things but we use our brain and we use our moral agency and we use our ethics to make the decisions that are aligned with our inner values and decisions that are more ethical so that's why we don't use our hands for doing evil work that's what i would say if someone says i eat locally grown meat and eggs so i'm not supporting the factory farming industry all of the animals are well taken care of and loved you could raise them for years as friends but you break that friendship the moment you send them to the slaughterhouse they will die a brutal and painful death just the same all animals are local somewhere i like that never thought about it before yeah so that's basically what i would say as well if someone says i only support local farms they treat the animals really well i know the farmers myself i've been to the farm these animals are really looked after they're treated really well so i'm not supporting factory farms 98 percent of all the animal products come from factory farms meaning that there is a demand for it yet when you talk to people a lot of them say but what about local what if i only support my local farms but you don't do that and that's the point not really the point but that's one point because even if that person is supporting their local farm and we'll talk about that in a moment when they go out and they eat a burger at a burger joint or eat pizza or whatever they eat ice cream those products are not coming from that local farm anymore they are actually coming directly from factory farms and so that person is not really being honest but that's besides the point so let's say this person is honest and they 100 percent only support local farms they only support animals that are coming from their local farm and they know the farmer and all of that the point number one point is there is no kind way or humane way or ethical way 
to kill someone who does not want to die. Even if you give them the best life possible. So ask them the question, put it back on them, that individual. If I told you that you could have the best life ever and in five years I'm going to kill you and that's going to be painless and quick, are you willing to go through that? Because nobody wants to be killed for a sandwich or a burger or an ice cream. So regardless of the life that these animals are having, if they're allowed to run around and the farmers go and spend time with them, give them love, at the end of the day, they're either going to kill them themselves and a lot of times they send them to slaughterhouses and the slaughterhouses are the same slaughterhouses as the ones that factory farms are sending their animals to. So that's actually more common. So even if the farmer is doing the killing themselves as well, in a way it's more fucked up because you're giving them love, you're spending time with them, you're creating a bond, kind of like a companion animal, like a dog or a cat at home. And then when the time's up, then you're going to betray them by taking their life. You go from behind and you surprise them and you kill them. So how is that looking after these animals and how is that respecting their life? and giving them a good treatment. In the eyes of the animals, it doesn't make a difference whether they were living in a factory farm or a local farm in terms of the end result, which is them being killed for their flesh. So yeah, sure, they have more room, it's a bit cleaner, maybe they get some human contact, some kind of attention, love, whatever it is. But at the end of the day, they are being killed just the same way. So the victims, they don't see it any different. And so if you as an individual were willing to put yourself in their position and think for a second, would I wanna be looked after and treated really well and then betrayed and killed? Would I like that? Would I wanna be in that position? What if someone says it's too hard to be vegan? How do you respond to that? What do you specifically find challenging about being vegan? I love that. Starting with a question and a really good question. I really like that. It's harder for the animals for you not to be vegan. So yeah, pointing out the fact that it's actually hard for the animals, not you as a human. It shouldn't be hard to align your actions and morals if you truly believe animal abuse is wrong. Beautiful. As always, the focus should be put on the animals. If you think it's hard to eat vegan, put yourself in the animal's position, yes. First of all, you need to ask them, what is it that you find difficult about being vegan? Let's just establish that first. Let's get that out of the way. Why is it that that person finds it difficult to be vegan? Because you want to understand where that person is at mentally. Does that mean that they find a difficult meaning it's an inconvenience? Then you need to cover the whole convenience argument. Do they think that it's difficult because it's hard to get all the nutrients that they need? Then you need to cover that. So you need to first figure out what it is that they find hard about being vegan and then bring up the fact that it literally doesn't require you to do anything super special, anything crazy. You're just going to the same supermarket and grabbing, instead of going for the cow's milk, you're going for the almond milk or soy milk or whatever it might be. And the fact that these animals are being tortured, raped and murdered for every single meal or every single product that that person is consuming or buying. So put yourself in their shoes, what they're going through compared to the inconvenience of you having to go to a different aisle or having to read the labels to make sure that you're not supporting animal cruelty, for example. So again, these animals are going through hell. Saying that it's difficult for them is an understatement. They are literally going through hell. And so for someone to say that for me to eat different food or for me to buy different products is too hard, that shows that that person is not convinced that animal cruelty is wrong and 
they haven't decided that they want to stop supporting it. So that's what you need to work on. When somebody says it's difficult, that means that they're not there yet and you want to help them get there. So keep talking about why someone needs to be vegan. Keep talking about what veganism is. Veganism is not a diet. Don't refer to it as a diet. The diet is a big aspect of it because, you know, we eat at least three, four meals a day or snacks or whatever, but also products that they're buying, clothing that they wear and other businesses and other things that they support, like not going to the zoo, etc. Make sure that this person is clear on what veganism is. Veganism is not a diet. It's not like, oh yeah, I tried gluten-free for a month and so it was really hard. Explain to them what veganism is so that they're not confused I still see sometimes in the comments people referring to it as a vegan diet veganism is a stance you take against animal cruelty against animal exploitation and against oppression so if you're convinced that animal exploitation is wrong and you don't want to have any parts in that that's when you go vegan and when you go vegan there are different aspects of your life that will change one is the diet the diet is a plant-based diet there's no such a thing as a vegan diet okay i know that sometimes we buy ice cream that says vegan ice cream on it or vegan cheese but they have to put that label on it because they have to somehow send out the message that this product is vegan for vegans to find it or for non-vegans to be aware of it sometimes it says plant-based right but it's important for us animal rights activists to use the correct language so that people are not so confused so that when you are on a flight or at a restaurant or something and you ask for a vegan option, they don't say, we have something gluten-free. Is that, is that the same thing? Is that okay? Is that what, you, you know what I mean? Or they say, oh, this is like dairy-free. You want them to understand what vegan means versus plant-based. Plant-based is the diet. So when somebody says it's hard for me to be vegan, are they referring to a plant-based diet, to sticking to that and to understanding what they need to eat? Or are they talking about being convinced that animal exploitation is wrong and they need to take a stance on it? See what I'm saying? That's really important to understand that, understand where that person's at in terms of veganism. Do they understand it? Have they thought about it? Are they almost convinced or are they just throwing an argument at you because they're not interested in being vegan? So that would be the way to approach. It's too hard or it's too difficult. That was the last argument, so I'm going to stay for another five minutes. If you have any questions for me, then send them through. Someone asked about dogs that are used to like rescue people if there is a fire or if there's an earthquake and things like that. We have done multiple posts on service animals. I guess this will fit into that category. Police dogs, all of that is basically in the same category as service animals and our position is that we are against that because with the technology that we have now we can do those things without using and exploiting an innocent individual that didn't give us consent to be used when you go and sign up to become a firefighter as a human being you're giving consent you're making that conscious choice you are willing to do that in return to getting paid and so that's a completely different story even if you're willing to put yourself at risk you're doing it because you are willing to do it and there's a contract we don't do that with animals and we can't do it because they can't speak to us and they can't give us consent so that is unethical to use animals for any purpose what to do if it's hard to find vegan food in my area Vegan food is the easiest food to find. Vegan food means plant-based food, anything that comes from the ground or grows on a tree. Rice, potatoes, beans, vegetables, fruits, nuts. Surely you can find these things. There is no excuse. You don't have to eat vegan cheese and vegan ice cream to be vegan. You can eat a plant-based side. In fact, eating whole foods is healthier for you. So just stick to whatever plant-based food you have access to and don't make excuses for animal exploitation let's wrap this up and i will see you next week in about a week we should have another q a thank you so much for all the love and support 
and speak up for the animals if you can. Take care. Much love.